Well, the detailed charges against Sean Great have hit this close Ashland community very hard tonight. The people we talked to who knew the victims say that if Great is convicted of the murders here at this Ashland house, he should pay the ultimate price. Ashland residents continue to visit the growing vigil in front of the home where the bodies of Stacy Stanley and Elizabeth Griffith were discovered last week. Nicola Light and her friends come here nearly every night. Nicole was good friends with Elizabeth. I wish I could have helped. Uh, save her or something, you know. She used to call me when she uh, was, uh, like, when she was sad and stuff. We showed Nicola the long list of charges against suspected serial killer Sean Great, including four counts of murder, kidnapping, rape, burglary, tampering with evidence, abuse of a corpse, and more. People like this are, they're nasty, they're monsters. And to know that we have something like that here in Ashland, it's terrifying. Logan Vaughn and his girlfriend visit the laundromat across from the murder scene a few times a week. They were stunned by today's grand jury indictment. Both Vaughn and Nicola Light fully support the Ashland County prosecutor seeking the death penalty in this case. I agree with the prosecutor says that he needs to uh, be prosecuted to a full extent for all the things that he did, did for the past few months. I don't think anybody should be able to get away with this and have any chance of, even with life in prison, that uh, he should be given a death penalty. And Columbus attorney Mark R. Weaver has been appointed special prosecutor in this case. Sean Great is set for a video arraignment on the charges against him coming up on September 29th. Reporting here in Ashland, I'm Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis.